So I had to do a whole darn experiment in the 20s and 30s next to each other. <coughs> then I, uh, I, I, I and so I had 20s and 30s all together. I used a compromised population of about 160,000 plants per acre. These are my, uh, my four sites. I, uh, I, I played both sides of the fence. So I had Syngenta and, and Monsanto BSF genetics and protection products. And, and uh, what I want to show you first is the difference in 20s and 30s. And I saw no difference on any of the factors, whether it's 20 or 30. And I think that's, I blame the weather on that. My yield was made all by a few late rains and late August. So I, what I'll do is I'll compare the 20s and 30s first. Uh, and and, and uh, the, 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 the value of the 20s depended on where I was. In the northern part of the state, where I had a longer day and more rain, there was an advantage in the 20s. As I went to the south of the state, we have a shorter day, a longer season, and less rain. Actually, the 30s were better. But overall, the 20s were a little over two months. Now what I'm going to show you is I'll show you the difference between the high-tech and the traditional system. I had six of these trials out in my state last year. And in all six trials, the high-tech system yielded more than the standard system. It ranged from uh, seven and a half bushels to 12 bushels. So see this, this is a scientific symbol. It means I subtracted this from this. <laughs> so on average, the high-tech systems were 10 bushels. You know, then the question, the question is going to be, you know, I'll show you this side first. If I did one thing, what would it be? And there's, a, I'm telling you, there's a lot of one things you can do to increase soybean yield. There's a lot of low-hanging fruit on the soybean crop. And so in uh, 2012, I averaged over all these six crowds. Uh, if I added the extra fertility, I gained almost five bushels. That's because we're not adequately fertilizing our soybean crop. If I had the longest maturity for the region, I gained 3.7 bushels. If I had the insecticide, I gained almost four. Not quite as much from the fungus side, maybe a little advantage from both. And when I had that seed treatment, even though it looked fantastic, it was worth a little bit less than three bushels. You know, so fifteen dollar soybean. You know, a lot of these would be a lot of these single factors would be economically feasible. Now, if I look at the individual <coughs> value of each of these single factors, I would predict a fifteen bushel yield gain by using all of them. But it's only ten. So unlike corn, where they work together as a team, the soybean works against each other. Stupid plant. <laughs> but it's still tech. <laughs> Ten bushels more on the high-tech side. And now I'm looking at what happens if I omitted the factor. In other words, I didn't have the extra fertility, I lost almost four. I didn't have the insecticide and the fungicide, I lost a little over three. I didn't have the seed treatment, I lost two. So unlike corn, here I've summarized it. Uh, unlike corn, they, they don't quite work together as a team. I mean, the good news is there's a lot of single things you can do to increase soybean yield, largely fertilize it, um, maybe protect it. But if you are willing to use more than one, they at least partially add up. So uh, uh, my conclusion on soybean is uh, you can increase soybean yield with crop management. I mean, who would have thought? <clears throat> but uh, unlike corn, they don't act together to the extent I want them to. Maybe, maybe that was last year's weather. Maybe it's, there's some other limiting factor with soybean. Or, or maybe it's the indeterminate nature of soybean, but at least they partially add up. So I'm going to end here. I know we're running a little late, so about that. I'm going to end by thanking the people in my laboratory that's played a big role in this work. And I really want to thank each of these fine companies. These are the fine companies that have supported my research. Each of these companies have given me product, machinery, money, or better yet, all free. And this is in alphabetical order, not in the order at which they supported it. And uh, I want to give a very special thanks to uh, Sherry Cole. She's the one that coached me into coming here. Um, you know, she, uh, well, I like being here. You're, you're kindred spirits. Anybody that wants to grow high corn and soybean yield, I, I want to be around. So that's why I'm here. Well, that and money. Uh, and I want to thank all of for uh, hosting this little party here. And, and then finally, uh, you know, Mosaic and Arthur companies, uh, you know, for, the, for their, their support. If you're a glutton for punishment, I have a website that a lot of this information is on. All those uptake figures, my full Soybean Six Secrets report is on that website. That's the actual web uh, address. But if you Google Crop Physiology Laboratory at the University of Illinois, this will come right up. Not Crop Psychology, that's a whole different website. <laughs> crop Physiology. So hey, thanks a lot for your attention. I hope you got something out of it.